good pair of scissors. Let's hope they're good. And cutters. And these need a sharpening, you can feel it. But. And mason jars. Mason jars are kind of my thing because it's more that country uh, farmhouse decor. And if you have at your disposal, it just adds a little bit of uh, embellishment to the, to the jar. Uh, some ribbons. Today, let's use the bumblebees. They're kind of cute. I'm big on the jute twine because it's true farmhouse decor, but today we're gonna, we're gonna step it up a notch here. Overcut, I think that might be a little short, so we're gonna do one big guy. Wrap your ribbon around and just do a simple bow tie. I don't get too fancy, just make sure that that pattern is sticking outwards. Nice and tight. You can double knot it if you want. I normally don't. And again, just make sure that pattern is outwards. And just amazing what a simple little shoelace tie will do for the jar, right? Adds a nice little embellishment. And then we fill it with water because sunflowers like to be cut early in the morning or late afternoon, early evening when it's cooler. They don't like to be cut in the heat. And as soon as you take them, where this is kind of a taboo right now, you want them out of the sun and you want them directly in water. So this is just rain water. Don't use cold water. It'll shock them too much. You want actually warm water or that is warm water in our rain barrel there. And then you pick your flowers. So we've got a nice big guy here. We're going to save him for the center. For this, I'm gonna do a nice big center and then just small ones around them. So we're gonna pick three to have as our center focus. He's kind of different. Uh, uh, let's do this. So you just measure them up to the jar. So you see we need to cut a lot off. So we'll start here. Cut them at a 45 degree angle. They, uh, they really like, the angle helps because then they've got, it's not flat on the bottom. They can take that water in. And then also take off some of the leaves because their energies need to stay at their heads. So, and that's about the right height for the middle. So we're gonna do the other three a little bit off. Oh, oh almost. You don't want them exactly the same height. This, one, this guy's really big, so he's gonna be taller than the rest. And you'll find as you're making the arrangement, you're gonna probably cut a couple times. Just remember each time to cut at that 45 degree angle so they're not sitting flat on the bottom. It's very, very important. They need a lot of water. So that right there is going to be our center focus. And now we're just going to work our way around. So we're going to work down. So this is going to be a really tall arrangement, but it'll look good when we're, when we're all done. a sunflower bouquet and a lot of trimmings 
and a beautiful smell. They will last anywhere from three days to two weeks, depending how you care for them. So make sure you switch out their water every two to three days, fresh water. And then as you change out their water, trim them. So they like a nice fresh stem. After a couple days, you'll see that stem start to yellow on the bottom. It means they're not taking in as much hydration. So keep that stem nice and fresh. So it ranges from about $2 a stem and up, depending on how large the heads get. Um, your average pick is about $25. But set aside $25, you'll get a, a bouquet like this. Yeah. So. And if you want, we can show you how to make the bouquets. Uh, we can do it right here on site. We can provide you all the materials to do so. Or you can go home and make it yourself at home afterwards. Welcome to our veggie garden. So this is also a you pick. You can come out, pick your veggies. Right now we have green beans, yellow beans, beets that are ready. Uh, the carrots are almost ready. We also have two sunflower patches in here that are available for you pick. So you can come out and pick by appointment. I can also pick for you, or you can see us at any of the markets. I usually announce that on my personal Facebook page where we're gonna be and when and what we're bringing. So this is our large, well, our small, large guys. I call them my big dudes. So these guys are being grown for sunflower seeds specifically to make bird seed uh, and suet balls. So you'll notice that some of the sunflowers, here we'll take this guy, are already missing their leaves. So what happens with a sunflower is when those seeds become ready, the sunflower loses the leaves around it and starts putting the energy into producing that seed. So eventually, all this yellow will fall off and behind it is the seed. So depending on the size of your, the head is the size of the seed you're going to get. So some of these guys are little, like this one, and then you see others that are going to be, you can see he's still heading out. He still hasn't fully produced yet. He's going to be a big guy. This is, this is my happy place, I call it, because you walk in between them and it's just, you're just soaked by the sun. So our hopes for next year are to take a patch like this and make it into a four or five acre sunflower patch that people can walk through and absorb and enjoy. So the plans are big. Uh, we hope to grow from here. So beyond what we have here, we hope to make it bigger and make it more attractive for people to come and see and enjoy and spend some time in nature. That's the big thing for us. It's nature is healing, so why not share that with the world? And you can't not be happy around these guys. You can't not be happy.